<laughs> but um, but uh, we got a, a lot of great plants here uh, for you. Got a lot of good pictures. But uh, congratulations, Dave, on that uh, win. That's uh, really awesome. And uh, to everybody else in the that's um, been pushing this program, that's uh, really really cool to see natives uh, coming alive. And uh, yeah, that's what the American Beauty Program is about. Uh, one of the native uh, plants that we got on here uh, is this um, hydrangea queen alice, uh, this oak leaf hydrangea. And um, these are really nice, big, uh, beautiful plants. There's 950 of those on availability. And um, we have those in a, a seven gallon. Um, we only, um, the true size without the leaves is uh, uh, 30 to 36 inches, but the cone on them is, is 24. So we just kind of want to point that out that they're definitely um, a great size, um, a great value uh, for your customers when, when they're getting those. Uh, one thing that uh, you want to mention though too, um, that it, it is easy to over, over water. Um, these hydrangeas, I know other hydrangeas that we grow, you can't seem to put enough water on them, uh, but these ones you can. Um, and, and Another kind of a note is, um, is the stem is really, we don't trim these all the way back to the ground like other hydrangeas to make a lot of the variety. Um, this variety um, is pretty lucky. We, we just give it just a light, light nip in the springtime, if that, just, just to shape up that, just to shape it up a little bit. But these are uh, some fall photos, so you can actually see some of that fall color on it. Uh, the leaves aren't on there now, but uh, then you can see them with the, uh, what the bloom looks like there in the summertime. Uh, so it's definitely a great native, native plant um, to be thinking about and considering about for your customers. Uh, moving on to uh, Ilex Blue Maid. Um, just some kind of some notes here is um, you guys have been doing a great job. We only have um, a little over 1,200 of these on availability. Last year at this time we had um, Believe it or not, almost 5,000 of these available in mm -hmm. three gallon containers. And um, so this has kind of been like the shift in the gears with uh, some of the Ilex around here. We've been, we've been focusing a lot more on the Royal family. But if you have customers out there that still want to have uh, the Blue Maid, they love Blue Maid. Blue Maid is a terrific plant with that uh, glossier leaf. Uh, if you still have customers out there that uh, still want them, um, you got, they got to jump on the boat right now because they're going to be gone pretty quick. Um, and and uh, one thing that we won't do is we won't ramp up our production for um, right away just because of how long the evergreen stays to get in production. So just because there's wings up and down, um, that's why we've been ramping this down a little bit, but we've been focusing a lot on the, on the royal family production. So uh, they're still really good plants. There's nothing wrong with them. They're nice and big and healthy and um, very full. You can see that they're the size on those 18 to 24. Last year, uh, the three gallon, we had a list only at 15. Um, but uh, because of our growth that we've been getting on top, we've um, increased that size to 18 to 24 right for this crop. That's what we have left. Um, so take an opportunity on that. Next up, um, blueprints. And you can see that these are um, kind of the same thing. We had uh, 1,700 of these on availability. Last year, we had a uh, um, a little bit more, a little over 2,000 on availability at this time last year. So uh, you guys have been doing a great job with uh, uh, the blueprints. This is something that uh, we kind of keep the numbers the same and steady every year because we need to have that stock uh, block for that royal family production. So this number will stay pretty steady, but uh, there's still customers out there that don't want to do the royal family. They just want to do all uh, females and just a couple uh, blueprints in the landscape. So this is the pollinator for it, so that's why we still keep it in there in the program as well uh, for that line and also for uh, uh, putting them in that royal family bucket. But uh, they're definitely a great plant. They're nice and full, heavy plant. They're 18 to 22 inches. Um, even though they are only in pollinator at 15, uh, you definitely can you can see the size there. Out of they're they're nice and nice and big. Um, next up, we got uh, some uh, juniper sea green. And um, this is something that we didn't really have any inventory on last year, uh, three gallon. Um, at this time, we were uh, we only had 300 left on inventory. We um, 
really did some focusing on um, different techniques um, in the growing end, and now we're able to get, uh, provide about 1,500 of them uh, out there for uh, your early spring sale. And uh, they're definitely uh, a plant that's a staple for that landscape. They're all the landscapers, I think uh, uh, they just put a, a bunch more in around a Sports Force out here about the Cedar Point uh, complex. They just they just put in a bunch of these, and they um, I see them going all the time at uh, new construction buildings around the culverts and the markets and all the, everything they're building out here. I always see them throwing in uh, seed green junipers, and um, that's just because they're a staple in the, in the landscape industry. So um, it's a great looking crop, as noted in there, and uh, the three gallon size is really uh, something that uh, everybody uses. Uh, we definitely have plenty of those on availability. That in mind. Uh, next up, we got uh, Magnolia Ann. Um, this is something last year, we didn't have three gallons, um, any, any three gallons to speak of last year for Magnolia. Um, we kind of had a hiccup in the crop uh, cycle, but uh, this year uh, the crop's looking really good. We spent a lot of money regrading the uh, uh, sites. Um, uh, the beds and stuff like that, just to kind of help get that water away from them, so that way we didn't really have that big of a hiccup this year, and, we, and it paid off. So we got a great looking crop, a three gallon. Um, there's over 600 of these availability. You can kind of see that they're, um, they're pretty without three inches without a leaf. There, um, they're not going to be as full. I can say that to the bottom. Um, it's compared to a seven or 15. 15s are really full at the bottom, just because of um, their growth at this. This stage versus when they're in at 15, when they're spaced out, when they're in a three gallon, we put them a little bit tighter um, spacing than, than, uh, than the sevens or the 15. But they still have a lot of leaves on the bottom compared to some of the other um, other magnolias that we grow just because of their natural habit. Um, but, and they're still really full to the bottom, you can see that, but um, just be aware of that, that, that sometimes um, the 15s or the sevens, they just, they just look like a, a bush almost and these ones because they, you can kind of see it in the background and it fades a little bit uh, a little bit tighter but nothing to be concerned about that's just how we uh grow them in the container uh, until we can ship them up but uh, they're really good like i said we don't we didn't have these last year so it's something to be uh note to your customers if they went somewhere else last year uh try to swim them back um, our way with these uh, definitely uh beautiful crop for spring uh, next up, we got um, asbestos gold. Um, right here, there's uh, 1,500 of these on availability. And this one, you can kind of, um, I know some customers that flip flop back and forth between this one and, and tiny wine gold. There is a difference. Um, asbestos gold has a, a larger leaf um, than the uh, tiny wine gold. Uh, Festivus is. Um, um, Pretty good. I mean, you might actually be able to celebrate this time of the year because it's best this for the rest of us, right? <laughs> With uh, I tell people out there, but um, give out this gift of gold love to everybody. But uh, but don't do that because there's no leaves on them right now. <laughs> Sorry, but um, no, they're they're a really good plant. And um, we just want to bring this up to your attention right now because in the in, in May they definitely uh, they they go up quick. Um, uh, I looked it up uh, in, in May this past year. There was uh, very minimal uh, tiny white golds, and there was uh, a lot, potentially less uh, amount of bees in inventory. And once these are gone, it takes a little bit uh, before the next crop to be to, to come up. It doesn't come up until uh, the spacing to return to flush, so it just takes about till uh, June, end of June or so, like that. So. Definitely want to get these, um, uh, thinking about your customers for these and getting them thinking about it too. I know stuff, it might seem like it's long right now, and it may seem like we got 1500 all oh, we got plenty, but uh, they will go. Um, they do go fast, and uh, I think Carpus is one that um, I tell everybody is, um, loves too, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, next up, we got uh, Texas Captains. Um, now this one, um, we kind of want to bring it to your attention too, because it, just like everything else we're bringing up, this is actually one that uh, we're selling down on too, and, and taxes are going up, they're going down with, uh, with the economy. Um, 
academies, and the academies are strong, so a lot of captains are being bought up right now just because of all the stuff going on. And, and um, we just kind of want to bring it to your attention. This is what they look like, what we have for uh, captains in our three gallon, uh, 18 inches. And um, last year we had double the amount. So taxes in general are short on the market, right? So some people are going to be switching around and, and doing different things. Um, but uh, I want to just show you guys that we are getting lower on our numbers even before your guys' uh, customers. Uh, come springtime, they don't really have any tax activity, so they should definitely jump on some of these. But, uh, there's only 750 of these on availability, and it's something you kind of want to press to them. Um, but once they're gone, it, it, we, it's not like we have, uh, we can just go and work some more and get a process. It takes a long time with evergreen. It's hard to bring that production number back up and take it back down. So, like a, um, like a hydrant or a price of car bits or any of that kind of stuff. That, it's such a fast growing uh, plant to bring it up and down with, uh, with the economy, you can't do that with that. So, with strong economies like this, you definitely want to uh, your, uh, your um, customers towards some of these. Uh, it may take a little bit longer to see some of them. So, uh, there's 700 availability on this, and we also have 15 gallons of, uh, of these also available too. So, if you miss a little bit on some of these, Last up, um, enhanced spring item pad. Um, Steve brought up the question last week about uh, uh, minimal heat. Uh, me, with how I think, I, I'm thinking of the growing end all the time. And, uh, Cheryl corrected me when we were over with, when we were all done. She said, well, maybe they were thinking about selling plants. So we brought up this list for you, and these are the list of the plants that we um, put, um, that's going to be an enhanced mode in the springtime. So these are the ones you guys should be focusing on or uh, talking with your customers, and these are the ones that we do um, to turn on the heat. Uh, we do that in the end of, uh, end of uh, March uh, to kind of help push them along so that way your customers have them in bloom for uh, Mother's Day or they have these on for Mother's Day. Um, uh, right here is the uh, everybody's back now uh, looking at it. Uh, Pomto's, uh, Melissa's, and uh, the Bell of Souls, and the uh, Wolf Fingers, um, twos and threes, and then the Wajilis. We got uh, uh pink, but those are all spoken for already. But the Wajilis, the wine, and the Wajilia wine and roses. So these are the ones that we will um, push forward in, in, in March. Turn on the middle of the heat for you guys, or um, turn up the heat for you. Uh, turn them over and yeah, now that's something you don't really have to worry about um, when you're doing that. Um, Cheryl kind of takes care of that behind the curtain. The one just roll over into those cracks or get them loaded up into 